Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. Michael here. I'm working today on a couple of light fixtures. So I've had this LED lantern for years and I really like it a lot. It's battery powered, it's dimmable, and it's completely waterproof. So I've used it a lot for camping, but I also found that I've used it a lot at home as a task light. And uh, this year for Christmas, I got a second one and it got me thinking that I could design a better task light using these as a base. So um, I've actually produced two videos this week in two separate projects. They're very different designs to achieve the same goal. Um, both use a lot of different techniques. So I'd encourage you to check out both of them. Um, so after you're done watching this one, uh, there'll be a link in the description down below. There's also a link if you wanna pick up one of these for yourself. If you haven't figured it out already, I'm doing a vent lamination. Um, I've got these two sides of the form that will press together with the thin strips of wood in between. Um, I like to use shipping tape on the insides of the, of the form just to prevent it from getting glued to the actual workpiece. up a little bit. Uh, the plan is to have these two sections slide past one another. Unfortunately, I, I decided to make an arc as opposed to uh, the edge of a circle. So as it gets further and further away, the arc flattens out and then it leaves gaps in here. I only need about seven inches in this section, so um, I'm not too worried about it. I think there, there's going to be enough curve that I can make it work. Um, so I'm going to go through the steps of finishing this and see if it works. But if you're going to try this yourself, I suggest getting like a giant beam compass or something and drawing a, a, a circle that way. sanding and, and shaping this and it's fitting really well. It's exactly what I was looking for. The curves definitely aren't perfect, but um, the, the lip on the edge of the channel kind of blocks your view of any sort of gap underneath. So it worked out just fine.
So you'll notice that all the clamps are different because I had to pull the whole thing apart. This little edge right here was catching on this part right here. So uh, I had to pull it out and reset it, um, but I think it's gonna be okay now. to sit perfectly flush against the side of the lamp. I want it to uh, pitch out a little bit. So my plan is to sand that angle in. I've made some measurements on, on both sides uh, to set my angle, and I'm just gonna sand to those lines. curves those should be easier basically I'm just gonna run my finger along here so that I get a nice even shape Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed that. I, I think it turned out really well. I'm excited with how compact it is. I can just stash it away in a drawer and uh, pull it out when I need it. Also remember I've, I've got a second video out as well so if you want to check out how I built this one uh, go check that out and if you want to see what I'm working on the shop uh, check out my Instagram. Also if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can know when I put out new videos. 
Um, lastly, if you want to support the channel, I've got t-shirts for sale and I've also got affiliate links down below. So all that helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.